It's like my first time being homeless. 34-year-old Ramona Ponte thought his homeless friends were joking when they told him how cold it gets on the streets in winter. It is real cold out there. It's nice night. I slept in the back of um, a church that helped me out. And, you know, it was cold. I had two blankets on me, and it was still cold. And, and I had this jacket. It was two jackets on. It was still cold. Aponte is one of more than 500 homeless people in Union County. Come winter, the struggle he endures daily can turn deadly. Edwin Rios. Congregants from all different religious backgrounds and nonprofit leaders gathered in Springfield to hold a candlelight vigil, memorializing the lives lost to exposure over the last year. We want to give them some dignity and also raise awareness for the problem of homelessness here in New Jersey uh, with the hope that people can band together to work to end homelessness in this county. Events like this one are held all over the country at the end of December around the winter solstice, the longest night of the year. You don't see its homeless, its homeless population until you go and work at one of the, the food shelters or the food pantries. And then you realize that these people who are hidden all day are out. And it's our goal to find a place for them to call home and to, to not have to be hidden. Interfaith leaders shared stories about how working to lift up the homeless population has impacted their lives. My church participates in Operation Warm Heart uh, and our homeless guests are here tonight. Uh, so uh, we're out on the town, uh, if you will, uh, but they, um, they need a lot of help. Uh, I think it's during this time of year, it's always really important uh, to think about uh, those who are in need. Uh, and so that's kind of what we're trying to do, I think. It gave me strength to um, like the people's in my life now that that what I was just talking to and you know they, they, put, they got me on to my feet. The church community is trying to help Aponte stay warm and healthy. He's on his way to a seven-day detox center nearby. Come February he and his wife are expecting a baby girl. And I think that's my strength is my first child and you know and I'm just happy about it and just you know I can't stop crying about it. In Springfield, Erin Delmore, NJTV News.